Miles Teller blacked out when meeting Prince William? Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how Miles Teller blacked out when meeting Prince William. Let's get right into it. Miles Teller, the talented actor, had the opportunity to share his experience of meeting royalty on the renowned talk show, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on Wednesday. He opened up about the momentous occasion of meeting Prince William and his beautiful wife, Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, at the London premiere of his latest action film in May. While his co-stars seemed to maintain their composure, Miles admitted that he was completely flustered when it was his turn to meet the royal couple. Despite his reputation as a confident and composed performer, Miles confessed that he was reduced to a nervous mess in the presence of royalty. He joked that he felt like he had been struck by the royal charm and was completely enamored by the couple's regal aura. During a recent appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Miles Teller discussed his experience meeting Prince William and Kate Middleton at the UK premiere of one of his films in May. The royal couple had attended the special premiere along with other stars, including Jennifer Connelly, John Hamm and Tom Cruise. Fallon quizzed Teller about his interaction with the royals and Teller shared that before meeting them he was given a list of protocols and etiquette to follow. They give you full rules of do's and don'ts. There's a lot of etiquette, Teller said, and I kind of had a sheet so I wouldn't mess it up. Despite his preparation, Teller admitted that he got lost in the moment and broke protocol right off the bat. Right off the bat I messed up, the actor said. You're not supposed to extend your hand right off the bat unless they do. But I felt the vibe so I'm like, I'm going in, I'm going in. Teller went on to describe the experience as magical, especially his encounter with Prince William. I was lost in Prince William's eyes. I mean, blue as the bluest ocean. Jimmy, what do you want? Bora Bora? And Kate is beautiful and very cordial and holds herself so well. Yeah, regal. But with William, I don't know. I just blacked out, Teller said. Teller himself even claimed that he thinks Prince William is a lifelong fan after their meeting. On an earlier episode of The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Ham said that Teller geeked out about Prince William's eyes. I was like, okay, I didn't think we were allowed to look at him in the eye. You bow and you move on, man, Ham said. I was like, you told the guy? You fell in love like you got lost in his eyes? He goes, I think, I don't know, I've lost my mind. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight in May, Connolly spoke about the special experience of meeting the royal couple and how gracious and impeccable they were. You think about the protocols that they ask you to be mindful of when meeting them. And of course, you know, Kate and William were both so gracious and reached out and shook our hands and they were just impeccable, Connolly said. She also compared the experience to when she met the late Princess Diana at a labyrinth premiere in 1986. Despite the protocol slip-up at the UK premiere, Miles Teller's year 2022 was nothing short of fantastic. He starred in one of the most highly anticipated movies of the year, Top Gun Maverick, and was handsomely compensated for his role, receiving a whopping $3.5 million. Being a part of such a legendary movie was not an easy task for Teller, who felt the pressure to live up to expectations when Tom Cruise handpicked him to play the son of a beloved character in the franchise. The movie is a follow-up to the 1986 classic Top Gun, which skyrocketed Cruise to fame and established him as a Hollywood heartthrob with his suave and daring portrayal of Pete Maverick Mitchell, a US Navy aviator. Teller, who has made a name for himself with hits like The Spectacular Now, Whiplash, Bleed For This and Only The Brave, takes on the role of Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's late best friend Nick Goose Bradshaw a character that was originally portrayed by Anthony Edwards in the original movie. The actor admitted that he was initially nervous about joining the massive sequel as he had previously focused on smaller scale projects in his career. I was a little apprehensive about stepping into something that was kind of set up to be this huge thing. I've been in a couple of big movies, but for the most part I've tended to do some smaller scale things, so I was nervous about kind of lending myself to that world. But it's something that I also was just incredibly proud and really honored to be part of. I mean, when Tom Cruise handpicks you to be his co-star in a movie and you play the son of Goose, those are big shoes to fill. So I just felt like if Tom thinks I'm the right guy, then I think I'm the right guy too, Teller told PTI in a Zoom interview. The highly anticipated follow-up to the 1986 classic Top Gun Maverick takes place three decades after the events of the original and follows Pete Maverick Mitchell, portrayed by the legendary Tom Cruise, as he trains a new generation of Top Gun graduates for a crucial mission. Among the elite group of pilots is Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, played by Miles Teller, who is both intimidated and inspired by Cruz's unwavering dedication to his craft. Teller praised Cruz's work ethic, explaining how the Hollywood icon's relentless pursuit of perfection was a driving force behind his own performance. 
Tom just never stops working and he's never really even satisfied with good or great. He puts so much time into these movies that you see him in and so his work ethic was something that I found really inspiring, he added. That's all for today and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.